Welcome back to Jessica Bowl for an unboxing from my favorite fountain pen shop ever, Vanessa Pens. So on Fountain Pen Day, they had a discount code and I decided to take advantage of the code and buy a pen that I had been wanting for quite a while. So I have a Bennu Vodka Euphoria. This is the pen. And I love this pen from Bennu. I love the fact that it has a clip on it. A lot of their pens don't have a clip. I like the size of it and I love all of the sparkle on it. And they came out with a second pen that's kind of related to this pen. This is the vodka and they came out with a bourbon. Ever since they came out with the bourbon, I have wanted one, but I've held off and been really good. But then Vanessa had their sale and I decided that I would go ahead and snag myself the bourbon because it is a gorgeous color for fall. So I got my bourbon and then I got some ink samples from Le Bon with my order. So I thought we would check out my bourbon and then do some swatching of my ink samples. So when you open up your box, your pen is actually in another little paper kind of box container. And then inside the box, you get a cartridge as well as a warranty card and product information card. We're gonna set that product information and warranty away and the cartridge away. Open this up. Oh, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So this is my new bourbon from Bennu. It is so pretty. They are so pretty together. I love all of the sparkle. These are gorgeous. And this is perfect for fall. And then this one is perfect for winter, although I use it all year round. And oh, I'm just so excited. So when you get your pen, you can pick your nib size. I actually got this one in a fine. And then included in your pen, is your converter. So it comes with a cartridge with blue ink and then it comes with a converter. It's just a standard converter where you twist to pull the ink in and then you just seat it in there and you're good to go. We are not actually going to ink up this pen on this video because I have another video to unbox some amazing inks with you guys. And I think one of those inks is the perfect ink for this pen. So I'm gonna wait to fill this up until I unbox those. And if it's perfect, like I think it's going to, we will actually fill this during that video. If it's not, then we'll pick another ink for my collection and we'll do a separate video to fill this pen. But that is the reason that I ordered to take advantage of their sale and get my beautiful Bennu bourbon so that I can have my vodka and my bourbon. But when I ordered, I decided to order samples of the Le Bon Greek Mythology inks that came out because I think they are absolutely gorgeous. This is, I think, their second run of Greek Mythology inks. I think the first run had five inks in it and the second run had five inks in it, but I've never bought any of them. So I decided to order samples of their inks. Three of the colors weren't available when I ordered one is available now and two are still out of stock. So once they're all three available, I'll order the samples of the remaining three. But I thought we would check these out. In all of the photos that I've seen online, these are so pretty. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to get a full bottle of any of them. So I decided I would order samples first and swatch them out. And then I could get a bottle of my favorite one if I decided that I loved them. So I have gone ahead and this is my Cosmo Air Light notebook that I've been doing swatches with you guys in. And I already wrote out the names of the inks and the color below it so that I would have a place to swatch it. The ones with the asterisks, those are the ones that I got samples of. The three that don't have asterisks, the Hera, the Zeus, and the Athena, which are dark green, purple, and gray. Those are the ones that I don't have samples of yet. We have samples of all the rest, so I thought we would go through and swatch them out. So I am going to get my water and my automatic pen and my little thumb pen rag, and we are going to swatch these out. So I'm just gonna try to stick them in order real quick. Okay, so I laid them out in order that kind of matches the order that I put them here. So we're gonna start first with Demeter, which is a brown. 
I love brown fountain pen ink. It is one of my favorite fountain pen ink colors. And so anytime a company comes out with a brown, I'm always wanting to check it out and see how it looks. I'm gonna add a little bit more so we can see on this side how the shading works. So we're gonna go through and we're just going to swatch all these out and then I will time lapse it and let them dry and then we'll check them out once they are dry. So next we have Aries, which is a red. If you hear noise from the other room, I apologize. My husband and my kiddo just got back from the ranch and they are exhausted. So they're watching TV and kind of napping on and off. Next we have Aphrodite. Aphrodite is a pink. Now that is a funky pink. That's not very pink, it's kind of brown, isn't it? That's interesting. We'll have to see how that looks when it dries. Next we have Apollo, which is an orange. I don't have any Le Bon fountain pens, but I have heard really good things about their fountain pens. So I may add one to my wish list for the future just to try them out because I've heard that they are very nice pens that are consistent writers. So the next we have Poseidon, which is a green. It's more of a teal than green. The color names that I went off of, like brown, red, pink, orange, those are from Laban's site. This is a Taiwanese brand, I believe. I'll put right here if I'm incorrect, but there may be a little bit of a translation issue also that might be another reason why the names are slightly different. Because I wouldn't consider that green personally, I would consider that more like of a teal, but maybe they don't go to that level of color naming. Next we have Hermes, which is a sky blue. That's very pretty blue. That one seems wetter than some of the others. And then last we have Artemis, which is a navy blue. That is really navy, that's very pretty. So the one I was actually the most excited about was Athena, which is the gray. It is a very kind of blue gray, and that's the one that I was most excited about. So we'll definitely be ordering samples of the other three once they come in, and then we'll just do a quick little video either on here or on Instagram swatching those out. But those are the seven of the 10 Greek mythology colors from Le Bon that I bought samples of. And so we are going to let these sit and dry and I will fast forward this part and time lapse it so you guys can watch it dry, but you don't have to sit for the length of time that it actually is. I will speed it up, but I'm gonna let it sit and dry and then we will check them out and we'll see how the shading looks and see if any of them have sheen or any color variations in them once they're dry. So I'm going to scoot my Bennu's here and we are going to let these dry. I'll be back in for you guys in just a few seconds. So the Hermes is still a little bit wet, but everything else is dry. So I figured we would just check them out and then I will post a picture at the end of what they all look like dry once the Hermes is dry. But these are the colors that I have. Obviously I have the three that are missing, but they are really pretty. 
that Aphrodite is pink. It's just kind of a mauvey pink and I really, really like it. The Poseidon is gorgeous and is exactly the color that I would pick for Poseidon. The Artemis actually has sheen on it. So you can see that sort of red pickup around the edges where it's puddled. And there's actually a little bit of a sheen on the Aries as well, but it's more of a maroon color, so it's kind of hard to see. But the Apollo Orange is one of my favorites. I just love the sort of red color that it's picking up in the darker puddled areas and the various shades of orange that it has. So those are my samples from Le Bon from their Greek mythology line. Like I said, once I get Hera, Athena, and Zeus, I will do samples of those as well. And then you guys can check out the entire set. I will do a video either here on YouTube or on Instagram. And then I'll also post pictures on Instagram of the full swatch page once I do get those samples in. But that is my unboxing from Vanessa Pens. They are one of my all time favorite pen shops. My family has been shopping there for decades and I am so excited for my new bourbon Bennu pen that I was able to snag with a discount because of Fountain Pen Day. If you have any questions about anything that I shared in this video, please don't hesitate to comment below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.